The music world and the world at large lost three iconic figures this weekend. All were innovators whose influences are felt to this very day. One of them was one of the first inductees into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is fitting considering he was the builder of that house to hear him tell it. Signed to her first recording contract at 12 years old, Betty Wright was just 17 when she released her signature song, Clean Up Woman, which went on to sell a million copies and became a staple in hip hop, being sampled about a million times by everybody from Mary J. Blige to Queen B, just to name a few. More than just a Grammy winning singer, producer and mentor to young vocalists, she was also a successful businesswoman, becoming the first female artist to score a gold album on her own record label, Miss B Records. Speaking of hip hop and record labels, Andre Harrell might be one of the most influential figures in the genre. Starting out as a rapper himself, he went into the business side of the game, launching his own music label, Uptown Records. It was there that a young Mary J. Blige and a kid from Brooklyn who called himself Biggie Small started their careers. It's also where Andre made arguably one of the most pivotal moves in hip hop, firing Sean P. Diddy Combs, who then went on to launch his own label and make musical history. And finally, what can I say about the man born Richard Wayne Penniman? He hasn't already repeatedly told us. Born in Macon, Georgia, Little Richard was the architect, inventor, and originator of what became known as rock and roll music. His piano playing and stage performances inspired and challenged audiences and artists worldwide. His influences cannot be overstated. Without Little Richard, would Elton John exist? Would one of his opening acts, a little group called The Beatles, have made it? The Rolling Stones, or acts in the U.S. who took his music and made it their own, like Pat Boone and a singer you might have heard of, Elvis Presley, who covered four of his songs and called him the greatest. One of the first crossover acts, he broke down racial barriers, bringing white and black audiences together in defiance of the era's ignorance. He also bent gender rules, influencing artists to come like Elton, Freddie Mercury, and Prince. Richard was a showstopper, and he proved at the Grammys in 88 when he brought the house down. You're gone, but not forgotten. Get up, DC.